Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Wife cheated last night need support my wife cheated on me and I need some perspective. Just found out my wife, we have been together for 13 years, two kids aged 6 and 3, has been cheating for the past 2 months. She came home at 4 in the morning after telling she would be out with girlfriends. I could tell something was off for a while and checked her phone, which I never do and found months of back and forth messaged with our child minders boyfriend, due to also be married in months and our kids play together, months of messages and sexting, meeting up to have sex in cars, holding hand and kissing in public and all sorts not to mentions my wife essentially venting to this man about everything I don't do right. Even going as far as saying she never really wanted to get engaged and married to me, news to me. It's safe to say I'm disgusted by her behavior. Everything blew up today and the childminder also found out. My wife keeps saying she is sorry and didn't think anything through. Didn't mean to hurt me blah 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 and wants to reconcile. A little bit of background on me. I had a really successful fashion business that went bust and sent me in a depression that took me a long time to recover from. And gave me lots of anxiety and shame associated with feeling like a failure. Right as Covid hit I picked myself up and worked a lot of less glamorous jobs to make sure the bills were paid. Long hours and long shifts. She is now using the fact that I have changed due to my anxiety and I'm never home due to working long hours, as some form justification why we have drifted apart. I need some perspective as I don't know how I could possibly look at her the same and get over it. Do I need to move out to get some perspective? Update. Thanks to everyone for the messages. Hurts to read a lot of them but I guess this now my new reality. A little update, the childminder found out about the infidelity and called my wife to yell at her. I think she is still going ahead with her wedding to the guy, good luck to her. I have taken in a lot of the advice on here and will be consulting a lawyer slash STD check, and DNA test for my kids, the wife has moved to another room. She is apologetic and is willing to try to save the marriage. She has taken accountability for her own bullshit and no longer blames whatever shortcomings I may have for her infidelity and realizes it's all her own shit. She has given me access to her phone, blocked AP, taken a standard check and is willing to go to therapy and do whatever else I ask of her. Unfortunately for me the betrayal may just be too great and brazen for me to ever look or feel the same about her. I will be taking some time out and away from her to figure out what's best for me and my kids. Why are you thinking about moving out? Biggest mistake men make in times of marital crisis is moving out. Give her the boot. Tell her she has to go to her parents, or wherever, or you spill the beans on her cheating. Then she can start proving herself to you and your kids because she cheated on the whole family. Tell the OBS as well. Nothing sanitizes like daylight. Talk to a lawyer. You did nothing wrong, remember that. That's a valid point. Her saying that she never really wanted to marry up and the second paragraph that up wrote, tells me she was with him only because of the lifestyle that he provided and once things went south she chose to cheat. Up got an STD test. Talk to lawyer. This relationship isn't worth saving. Also, sad to say, don't forget to paternity test the kids. Exactly, no matter what lay in the future, never let her have control in this moment. She cheats, she neglects you and your kids, so tell her to leave. You are the victim, now you want to leave your kids and home after all this. Hold your ground. Be supportive to your kids. Always with them. Then decide what to do with your wife. Also call your lawyer ASAP and ask for legal advice and how to prepare if the worst case scenario happened. Best of luck. This is the point I don't understand. Why leave? Kick her out. She's the one that cheated. Don't you ever bow down to someone like that. Up, you need to at least let your family and close friends know. They will be your support structure who can help you get through this. 
If you don't tell them, then they may not be able to offer you any help and you may feel alone. Also, please talk to a therapist. I'd suggest talking to her family as well. You don't want her to start badmouthing you to other people. It's not a secret anymore because the child mind knows about it too. So, likely the parents of children she looked after will know about it too. It is really brazen and disrespectful what she did. She has given me access to her phone, blocked AP. Kinda too little, too late, don't you think? Too late, because when a person cheats, they cheat on the whole family. By her selfish decisions, she brought up the possibility that your children may end up living in single parent homes. Assuming that the house is both of yours. When relationships go south, by moving out you're showing that you're able to maintain shelter with the house. This is not legal advice, it's how I remember what I was told to do and not do by my legal counsel so I could protect myself. Hard for her to be convincing when she says she's sorry but then puts all the blame on you. She's not sorry. She's sorry she got caught. You are not valued by this person. The affair will likely continue. You're the backup plan that's being kept around in case things don't work out with the other guy. You should not accept being someone's plan B. This right here. Can't believe op can't see this. It's hard to see it when you are in the middle of it and you still love that person and don't want to see your kids suffer from a broken home, in this situation you hold on to every last shred of hope and try to do everything to fix what the other person broke. That's the exact same shit that my ex tried to pull with her affairs. Long run of gaslighting and victim blaming before I figured out what was going on. Never move out. Pack her bags and kick her out. She'll say she has nowhere to go, tell her to go stay with the AP. Lawyer up and move on. Hopefully you did make copies of all her messages. You will need that. My wife keeps saying she is sorry and didn't think anything through. Didn't mean to hurt me blah 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 and want to reconcile. She is not really sorry. If she really cared she would not have done this. She cheated on you. She cheated on her family. She did this and did not really care about who got hurt. Not her kids, not his kids, not you. There is no reconciliation. Make sure the man's wife knows. Make sure the family knows and file for divorce and use the evidence. Protect yourself. Protect your kids. You move out, you have abandoned the family and she can then file for divorce citing abandonment. That is the first thing to keep in mind here. Now. You can consult and should consult with the top three divorce attorneys in your area, ASAP, and see what they have to say about what divorce may look like, choose one, the other two, she cannot retain, it's conflict of interest. If you don't file, at least have the attorney's card and let your wayward wife know you consulted and will retain this one. Oftentimes cheaters after outed, hope things will blow over and everything will return to their cheating. They fake the funk. The attorney, sends a message that they have really ducked up. Nothing you did or didn't do has anything to do with why your wayward wife, or any other wayward, chose to cheat as a coping method for whatever is broken in them. There are many reasons for why they chose to do that, and it was no mistake, they chose it. Is she willing to go to individual therapy? Is she willing to change from the mindset she has now? She not only blew up her marriage but your kid's home life and someone else's relationship and home life too, and their kids. Now, are these good friends that are children going to be suddenly ripped apart forever because of it all? Is she willing to go completely no contact with the AP and you will lose the child care? Is she willing to let you have all usernames and passwords for her phone, email, social media etc? Is she willing to listen to you when you are angry and hurt over all this and answer questions over and over and over again for the next two to five years? It takes a good two to five years for a relationship to reconcile after infidelity and, it may not, even if everything is done above. She also needs to stop blaming you or you working on the affair, that is all on her. She needs to own it. She isn't doing that. My advice, don't give her reconciliation yet or ever, until she makes steps to fix it and owns it and is remorseful, not guilty, remorseful. 
remorseful because she is losing you and the life she had with you and the children, not guilty because she was caught. She needs to move out of the bedroom. So for works. You need to grey rock her and not engage with her until she exhibits the right behaviors above. She can research, she can find out what she must do. Up, you lost your business, something it appears you loved doing. You are doing everything you can to feed your children and her and maintain the lives you had there. What the hell did she do to support you through all that? A good wife would have been supportive, would suggest or help the network to help you through it all. Did she? Focus on you and your children, not her, she is the enemy and trash right now. A hard-assed attitude is best now. Until she makes those steps, you make steps to a life without her and divorce and co-parenting. Op, that is the only way you can snap waywards into reality, if they will be snapped into it. If not, then you are already on the way to protecting yourself and your children. No marriage slash couples counseling, many of them start talking of the wants and needs of the wayward and how the betrayed weren't meeting those, blaming the betrayed. You also might want to find a good therapist to help you, an outside professional will help you. Good luck. This is very thorough advice op. It is not time for you to make any decisions right now. Right now you gather information, legal options, the extent of this, who else knew, etc., and process it. That's going to take about 6 weeks at least. Take space if you feel that you need it. If yes, she leaves. Besides if she leaves your nanny might stick around long enough to find a new one. While you're processing this you will watch her actions carefully. Because if you are even thinking about reconciling her actions in the next weeks and months will be critical for knowing if she can ever be safe again. Does she start taking full responsibility for her actions and stop blaming you? Is she completely accountable for all her infidelity? Transparent and not withholding? Is she still in contact with her AP? I really hope your nanny has tossed her WP so you can keep employing her. Although I'm guessing you'll lose her because she won't be able to stand the sight of the mother of the children. Infidelity destroys so much. So watch her. If she wants to know what she can do, tell her she can go use the internet just like you. There are good subs here on Reddit for a wayward person who really wants to change. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 